Audiobook Title Immortal World Wanderer, Xianxia, Chapter 29 and 30 by I Am Link. Chapter 29, Returning Home. In front of the Sky Aspiring Sect, Xu Han killed several people with a single sword. The leaders of the six major sects were all executed, and the headless disciples of the six sects had no choice but to submit to the Sky Aspiring Sect under the threat of Xu Han's power. Xu Han is not a bloodthirsty person. However, by absorbing the six major sects and still retaining their original leaders, these people would surely harbor different intentions. Xu Han didn't think that Mu Wan'er could handle these long-standing authorities, especially Gao Wushan. This person, seeing the situation as unfavorable, immediately switched sides on the battlefield. He was ruthless and decisive, and his heroism was even greater than that of Gao Hengtian in his prime. As long as Xu Han was present, this person would certainly not dare to act rashly. However, if Xu Han were to leave and not eradicate this person, it would be like planting a bomb for Mu Wan'er. Afterward, Xu Han stayed in the Sky Aspiring Sect for two months, on the one hand helping Mu Wan'er to eliminate opposition in secret, and on the other hand, arranging for the Disciples of the Dragon Mystical Sect. In fact, most of the Disciples of the Dragon Mystical Sect had simple needs. They wanted to live a life of luxury and respect, and they did not want to return to their poor rural life. Through efforts during this time, the Loose Alliance gradually took shape, and Xu Han thought that he had fulfilled his duty as a disciple of Northern Yen. As for how the Alliance of Sky Aspiring will develop in the future, it is not something he can control forever. One day, Xu Han left some useful talismans and a few bottles of elixir in Mu Wan'er's courtyard, and then prepared to get into the carriage with Gooden and quietly leave. However, unbeknownst to him, Mu Wan'er and Ian had been waiting beside the carriage. Mu Wan'er teased, trying to sneak away again. This really is your style. Shu Han helplessly said, It's hard to meet and hard to part, Sister Wanner. How did you know I was leaving today? I noticed your intention to leave some days ago. I didn't become the leader of the alliance for nothing. Shu Han couldn't help but laugh, stepping forward to give Mu Wanner a hug, and then picked up Ian. Sister, take care. Ian, you too. Ian, however, couldn't hold back her tears and clung tightly to Shu Han's neck, refusing to let go. Xu Han was taken aback. This scene seemed like a replay of the scene ten years ago, when his little sister was reluctant to see him leave home. In the end, in the morning mist, Xu Han drove away. Mu Wan'er, holding Ian, watched him from the mountain gate for a long time. Finally, the carriage disappeared into the river, vanishing into the hustle and bustle of the world. Following the path of years past, the carriage wobbled as it neared Sunglung Mountain, where he had lived as a child. The view was steep and the waters were numerous, seeming to offer no path, but then a village appeared amidst the shadow of the willows and the blossoming flowers. From afar, Shu village in the mountain looked exactly the same as it did years ago, unchanged. Shu Han's emotions fluctuated. The village in the mountain mist was the place he had been dreaming about for ten years. Countless times he dreamed as he did today, happily returning to Shu village. In his dreams, his parents were still as robust as they were in his memories, and his little sister was as carefree as ever, trailing behind him, calling brother, brother, incessantly. Yet Shu Han felt a faint ache in his heart. Everything was certainly not as it was in his dreams. They were sure to have changed. He stopped the carriage. Gooden, looking at Shu village in the distance, was very happy, but confused. He asked big brother, what's wrong? The village is just ahead. Let's hurry up and go in. Shu Han shook his head and began to search in his storage bag. He took out bottles of elixir and placed them in front of Gooden. Big brother, what is this? Shu Han gazed distantly at the village, muttering, Over the years, my parents and little sister must have become accustomed to life without me. If I meet them now and can't stay, it will only add to their sorrow and worry for me. You go back alone. I'll just watch them from afar. Looking at Shu Han's sad face, Gooden couldn't help but say, Big brother, you're afraid that once you enter the village and meet your family, you won't want to leave again. Aren't you? Is that so? Shu Han smiled awkwardly. That can't be helped. I'm going to the Great Cloud to seek the method of foundation establishment. The journey is long and the outcome is uncertain. I don't know how many years it will take, and I can't guarantee that I'll find the method of foundation establishment before my lifespan ends. If I see them, what can I say to keep them from worrying? Gooden was silent. He understood Shu Han's feelings very well. Gooden, I have a favor to ask. 
Can you do it? Gooden said, brother, just tell me. Shu Han said, help me look after my parents. Gooden patted Shu Han's shoulder, big brother, saying that is unnecessary. Burdens and your parents are my parents too. The journey ahead is difficult, but rest assured, I will take good care of them. But what should I tell them? Don't tell them the truth. Just say that Erdin and I have been selected to go to Heaven Mystical Sect to cultivate immortality. The journey is long and difficult, and we won't be able to come back in this lifetime. Heaven Mystical Sect. Gooden couldn't help but laugh bitterly. Shu Han handed a large bunch of talismans and bottles of elixir to Gooden. Eat these chi gathering pills slowly, and never cultivate to the twelfth level of chi refining, or you'll end up like me. Next, Shu Han pointed to several dozen jade bottles, saying, these are longevity elixirs that I've refined for our parents over the years. There's a share for both you and Erdin's parents. Once they consume these, their lifespan will be extended, and their bodies will become stronger. Then Shu Han handed Gooden a few more bottles of elixir, reminiscing, My little sister has loved beauty since she was a child. When she was very young, she loved to look at herself in the mirror and comb her hair. Now she must be of marrying age. These beauty elixirs are specially refined for her but I had no chance to send them from the dragon mystical sect. Gooden silently accepted the bottles of elixir, his nose already sour. Lastly, Shu Han also gave his top quality magic tool, the spirit snake sword, to Gooden. With this sword, no matter the cultivation level of other disciples of the dragon mystical sect, none will be your match. Please also help me take care of the sky aspiring alliance, and help Sister Wander to stabilize Northern Yin. Holding these things, Gooden couldn't help but choke up as he hugged Shu Han. Big brother, take care on your journey. You too. After saying this, Gooden drove the carriage alone, slowly entering Shu village. Shu Han rode the wind to the sky above Shu village. He saw his old home had been renovated, with green bricks and black tiles, and the courtyard was quite unique. In the yard, he saw a woman embroidering a pillowcase. On the big red brocade, she was embroidering mandarin ducks coming out of the water smiling beautifully as she did so. Shu Han watched from a distance, his heart tightening. Is that my little sister? By my calculations, she should be sixteen now, which is the age to get married in the village. Just then, a little boy riding a wooden horse came into the courtyard. Shu Han was stunned. The child looked just like he did when he was little. The girl looked up, smiled at the child, and said, Shu Li, come to your sister. I have Maltos candy here. Shu Li. Shu Han smiled. It seems his family has a new little brother, and the family is thriving. Just then, Shu Han saw Auntie from the village going from house to house, shouting, Shu Xing is back. Good in his back. Everyone, come and see. The girl dropped the pillowcase in surprise. She joyfully shouted, Good in his back. My brother must be back too. Shu Li, come, your sister will take you to see our big brother. With that, she picked up little Shu Li and rushed out the door following the rest of the village toward Gooden's house. Gooden's house had never been so lively. All the men, women, and children of Shu village had come to see the divine figure of Gooden's family. Gooden's mother was clinging to Gooden's arm, crying a river. Shu Han, flying in midair, was silently reciting the names of everyone in the village. Finally, he saw an eager couple enter Gooden's house. Those were his parents. From a distance, they still seemed young and spirited. A tear rolled down from his eyes. Shu Han knelt in the air and cowed out in the direction of his parents. In Gooden's house, both Erdin and Shu Han's parents were brought in. Gooden was in the main hall, kowtowing to the elders of both families. Shu Han sighed deeply, knowing that he should not linger, and took to the winds. He knew that once he left, there would be no more interaction with the people in the village for the rest of his life. The path of the immortal is vast and unfathomable while the human world is so small and fleeting, different paths will not intersect in the future. Chapter 30 The Way to the Foundation Establishment A year had passed, and Shu Han was like a lonely boat drifting in the sea, wandering alone in the vast world. Along the way, he asked for directions multiple times, heading toward the rumored boundless great cloud. During this period, he crossed the moat around a city mountain range known to mortals, crossed wide rivers, and passed through desolate lands where no one lived. Finally, a year later, he rode a boat downstream to the north and arrived at a small town on the edge of Great Cloud, Green Mountain Town. This year, his cultivation had not progressed an inch, and the bottleneck of foundation establishment was still as insurmountable as a moat. However, 
a year of travel and exploration broadened his horizons. Having ordered a pot of clear wine in an inn at Green Mountain Town, Shu Han poured and drank by himself, watching the ordinary people coming and going downstairs. He couldn't help feeling restless in his heart. How was he supposed to find a cultivation sect in Great Cloud? He had thought about it himself. As he was alone and helpless in Great Cloud, it would be more reliable to join a sect. Moreover, his own cultivation method hadn't acted up yet. But because he had not made a breakthrough for a long time, his meridians were already showing signs of swelling. Shu Han couldn't afford to be careless. He had heard that there were many immortal sects in Great Cloud. But how could he find out information and find a suitable sect? He didn't want to join a sect that was as exploitative as Dragon Mystical Sect again. Just as he was thinking and drinking, Shu Han suddenly heard the laughter from the next room and keenly caught the words spirit stone and cultivation related to cultivation. His heart couldn't help but throb. He had been in Great Cloud for some time and finally encountered a fellow cultivator. However, Shu Han hesitated. This was his first time interacting with cultivators from Great Cloud, and he didn't know if their character was good or bad. It would be better to investigate first. If they were at the foundation establishment level, it would be better to avoid causing trouble, as he no longer had the resources he used to have when dealing with Master Dragon Mystical. He called for the waiter and ordered a pot of fine wine. When the waiter brought the wine, Shu Han invited him to sit down and took his hat and towel. The waiter was puzzled and wanted to ask, but when Shu Han slapped two silver ingots in front of him, he didn't say anything. Thus, Shu Han exerted his full effort to use his chi hiding technique, carried the wine, and knocked on the door of the opposite room. Inside the room, two middle-aged men were laughing and talking. As soon as Shu Han entered, he immediately saw the spiritual light surging above their heads. One taller man was at the eleventh level of chi refining, and the other shorter one was at the twelfth level. The shorter man was playing with a shining green gem in his hand, looking very pleased. The two men were taken aback by Shu Han's sudden intrusion and angrily scolded, Waiter? We didn't call you, get out. Seeing that both of them were at the chi refining stage, Shu Han was relieved and slightly relaxed his chi hiding technique, emitting the aura of the ninth level of chi refining. He smiled and said, Please calm down, fellow Taoists. I have just arrived in Great Cloud and it's rare to meet fellow cultivators, so I've brought a pot of turbid wine to share with you. The shorter man quickly put the gem in his hand into a storage bag at his waist. The two looked at each other, stood up, and said with a bow, So it's a fellow Taoist. Please sit down and let us know if you have any advice. Shu Han took a seat and introduced himself. I am Shu Han a cultivator at the ninth level of chi refining. Nice to meet you too. The taller man laughed and said I'm Xie Ming, a cultivator at the eleventh level of chi refining. And I'm Kan Wenguang, a cultivator at the twelfth level of chi refining. Shu Han pretended to be surprised, so you're both my seniors. My apologies for my lack of respect. The two seemed very satisfied with the title of senior and laughed. Not at all. We are all at the chi refining stage, so we are of the same generation. But looking at how young you are, fellow Taoist Shu Han, and already at the ninth level, you must have great talent. May I ask where you come from and what plans you have in Great Cloud? Shu Han replied, I come from Great Yen, a place you too may not have heard of. It's a remote and desolate land. I feel it would be more beneficial for my cultivation to come to Great Cloud, and I might even get the chance to achieve foundation establishment. Oh, so you came for the foundation establishment pill? Foundation establishment pill? Shu Han's heart skipped a beat. They were getting to the crux of the matter. He no longer hid his curiosity and asked, What is this foundation establishment pill? Does a cultivator need to use the foundation establishment pill to assist in reaching the foundation establishment stage? The two looked at each other again, both with a look of surprise in their eyes. You don't know about the foundation establishment pill? Sorry for my ignorance, but my hometown is lacking in spiritual energy and it's been a long time since we've seen a cultivator at the foundation establishment stage. Over time, the method of foundation establishment has been forgotten. Xie Ming laughed heartily and began to explain the method of foundation establishment to Shu Han. As Shu Han listened, it turned out to be consistent with what he had guessed. There were two common methods of foundation establishment in the cultivation world. One was to use the foundation establishment pill for foundation establishment. 
the foundation establishment pill can instantly provide a large amount of spiritual power to help cultivators break through the unattainable threshold. However, this method has a high failure rate, and if the talent is not good, it may take several pills to succeed. The second method is a more high-end approach. It requires a cultivator at the core formation stage to consume their own true essence, stimulate the spiritual energy of heaven and earth, and perform spiritual power empowerment, using the profound spiritual power of the core formation stage to replace the foundation establishment pill. This method will not fail and is greatly beneficial for the cultivator's future cultivation. The disadvantage is that there are few core formation cultivators willing to expend a large amount of true essence to assist others in the foundation establishment. Xu Han nodded. Being alone and helpless, he could only choose the foundation establishment pill. So he asked, where can I get this foundation establishment pill, and how many resources do I need to exchange for it? Kan Wenguang laughed. Brother Xu Han, this foundation establishment pill is priceless. You can't buy it. The foundation establishment pill is extremely rare. The three main ingredients must grow around a spiritual spring and mature for 60 years. Those who have the ability to refine the foundation establishment pill are all immortal sects of the great cloud, and they only distribute them to their own disciples. Looking at Brother Shu Han, who is young and has a high level of cultivation, if you join an immortal sect and endure for more than a decade, you will definitely get a foundation establishment pill. Shu Han frowned deeply upon hearing this. Join a sect and endure for more than ten years? Would he still be alive by then? Do I really have to wait that long? Kan Wenguang laughed. More than ten years is not long. But if you want to get the foundation establishment pill faster, you must make a huge contribution to the sect or have exceptional talent. Shu Han then asked, May I ask, what are the criteria for the immortal sects of Great Cloud to recruit disciples? Generally, as long as they have triple spiritual roots, a few large sects even require dual spiritual roots or even special spiritual roots. Triple spiritual roots. Shu Han was so anxious that he wanted to scratch his head. He forced a smile and said then aren't my quadruple spiritual roots not eligible for any sect? He dared not say that he had five spiritual roots. Looking at the two of them, even quadruple spiritual roots were not qualified, let alone his five spiritual roots. Brother Shu Han also has quadruple spiritual roots? Shu Han was stunned. Are you two also? Kan Wenguang laughed. Yes, otherwise we wouldn't be wandering around in great cloud. But I'm curious, how did your quadruple spiritual roots cultivate to the ninth level at such a young age? I'm really curious. Shu Han explained, my ancestors passed down a few bottles of pills that can rapidly enhance cultivation. After I finished them, I barely reached the current stage. Alas, listening to you too, it seems that I have no chance of reaching the foundation establishment in this life. Xian Ming suddenly interrupted, Brother, you mustn't say that. In fact, besides the foundation establishment pill, we rogue cultivators have another way to go. After saying this, he took out a gem with a dazzling green light from his storage bag.